This knife is currently available for about 25 bucks US. I got mine off Amazon and for that price, I think it's a fantastic deal. This is really, really nicely built for such a low price. I mean, it didn't start out at that price, but you know, it's come down over time. And uh, for that retail price today, you get good build quality with nothing really feeling like it needs to be filed down. Chamfered edges, everything is, uh, appears to be blasted or sanded off in, in some way all around the edges. This is a very nice brushed texture here. And this is a two-tone design, so these are aluminum uh, handles, and then it's two-toned with an anodization in kind of a, a gray, a matte gray, matte medium gray in there, which looks pretty nice. The blade material is 8CR13MOV, which again, for the price, from my understanding, is pretty good stuff. It sharpened up nicely. It came with a great angle from the factory, a great angle that allowed me to just put a, a small little micro edge on there and this is sharp as heck just from being able to put just a just a just the tiniest touch of a micro edge on it which is great to allow you to you know quickly touch it up over time without having to rehome the entire edge and without having to to reshape this thing you can see that i have i have not reshaped it myself i have not you know reprofiled the the grind on it so that's nice the blade design the shape of it is is pretty good. I like the uh, the cutaway here on the top. It takes a little bit of weight out of it, and you can see that the entire thing is fairly thin. Now it is a frame lock design, and I often dislike frame locks for their action and how they tend to prevent the uh, prevent deployment if you have any pressure on the lock itself. That's not the case with this one. This is the best working frame lock that I personally have gotten to date, and that doesn't say that much. I haven't gotten too many of these, but you know, I've, I've run the gamut with the handful that I have gotten. I've run from very cheap to very expensive, and this works quite well. This is actually rounded at the back here, which just allows it to seat in there a little bit better. The tang, uh, the, the cutoff doesn't look too clean, but I can see that it was ground a bit to make sure that it was at a good, a good angle. It actually has a little bit of a hollow grind to, to the back of it. And the action is very consistent. Very, very consistent. Obviously, it's not spring assisted or anything. I have seen some uh, customer reviews complaining that they can't uh, open this consistently using just the, the flipper. And I agree with that 100%. It doesn't always want to come out. There's not enough inertia in that blade. Just a little bit too much stiffness in the the pivot. I could adjust the pivot just a little bit, but I don't think it's pinching too much. But yeah, I, there, that's that's a lock. But personally, especially with things that are not assisted in any way, I always, always put a little bit of flick in it. Always, and this does not require much. And you see, it just comes out consistently. Has a nice light landing to it, but it the lock moves in fully every single time. Even if I just barely get it out there far enough, it, it locks in uh, nice and safely, in, in my opinion. This also has an interesting handle design to it because you know here's basically your spine line back here, but then so much of the handle angles down that when you hold this. The, the, the knife, the blade itself, is actually kind of turning away from you. It's angled out, which is nice. I like that. that that's cool. It puts the blade out there in front of your hand a bit. And uh, this does feel good in the hand, even though it is kind of thin and fairly light, because I'm not sure if you noticed that it's actually scalloped out on the inside of the handles as well, in addition to just being aluminum and being as thin as, as it is. So the handling of this to me feels very nice. Obviously it's not a chopper, but I can actually get a good handle on it back here, a good hold on it back here. This works very effectively well. This works very effectively well. So wherever I want to hold it, I'm able to get a confident grip on it, which is, it's good. It's, it's much better than I expected, especially for this price, for how thin and lightweight it is. Very happy with the end result here, and uh, it's a good value.